Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison Carolina barbecue versus Texas pulled pork. Stay tuned. You can see, look at this bark. It's crazy. Oh man, this is perfect. It helps to start with a nice sharp knife, okay? Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, before I get started on this cook, I want to explain why I am remaking this video. On the first video, I titled it Carolina Pulled Pork versus Texas Pulled Pork. And there's no such thing as Carolina Pulled Pork. It's Carolina Barbecue. So I don't think I did the Carolina Barbecue justice. Also the rubs that I used and kind of the style, it was Carolina style, but not a traditional Carolina style barbecue. So I really don't think I was fair to Carolina. So I'm gonna remake this video and we'll see what my neighbors have to say this time. Stay tuned. All right, before we get started on the pork, I am gonna be making my Carolina style sauce. And it starts with vinegar, okay? This is apple cider vinegar. I have three mason jars here, they're 12 ounces. So I'm just gonna put about 12 ounces of apple cider vinegar in each mason jar. All right, so our next ingredient for our Northern Carolina style vinegar sauce is crushed red pepper. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon to each mason jar, just like that. Okay. I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of salt. I am using kosher salt. And our last ingredient is black pepper. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of black pepper. I was talking to one of my buddies, one of my subscribers actually, David. He actually came on my live chat and explained to me the differences in Carolina barbecue, Carolina style barbecue. He's up in Northern Carolina, so he gave me the recipe. I am using a version of what he recommended to me. So David, I wanna thank you again for joining me in my live chat and explaining the differences in the Carolina style barbecue and the traditional style that you guys do it up in Northern Carolina. So I'm just gonna mix this up. Okay, this is gonna sit in my fridge for a day before I even use it. So I'm just gonna put this aside. Let's get to the rub, stay tuned. All right, so let's make our rub for the Carolina barbecue. So I'm gonna add half a cup of kosher salt, quarter cup of crushed red pepper, and quarter cup of black pepper. Real simple ingredients, okay? We're gonna shake this up here. All right, so I've got two pork shoulders here. They're both about 10 pounds a piece. I'm just gonna move one aside. This one is gonna be my Texas, and this one is gonna be my Carolina barbecue. All right, so on the first video, I actually took the fat cap off. On this video, we're gonna keep it Carolina style, and we are not gonna be trimming the fat cap. Now, I do wanna look for any loose fat, kinda of like this. Okay, just a little bit of loose fat here. Nothing too crazy. That actually looks really good, okay? So again, this is gonna be my Carolina barbecue. I'm gonna grab my Carolina rub, which is real heavy in red pepper, salt, and black pepper. So I'm not using a shaker because the crushed red pepper will get stuck, obviously. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on. And this is a totally different rub than I used on my first video. So I can't wait to taste this Carolina style barbecue. Okay, we're gonna go pretty heavy. We're gonna pat that down. Make sure we get our sides. I gotta tell you, I am really liking this simple rub right here. Okay, so that looks good to me. Just pat it down. I'm actually preparing this the night before. They're gonna sit in my fridge overnight and tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be smoking these in my Yoda Frontiersman. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this in a pan. So I'm just gonna wash up this chopping board. I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got my Texas pork shoulder here. I'm gonna use mustard as a binder, just a little bit. I gotta tell you, mustard really grabs a hold of the rubs and it is used throughout Texas. In some parts of Texas, they don't use any binder. 
Obviously on my side of Texas, we use a binder and I've been using mustard and it's a pretty popular binder in Texas, okay? So just a little bit. And once it's cooked down, you will not be tasting the mustard at all. I guarantee you that. This is just a very light layer. All right, so I've got my SPG here, which is salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika. Yes, traditional Texas style is just salt and pepper, but to be honest with you, salt and pepper is really bland, okay? It's not gonna have any flavor. And that garlic and paprika, it's so little, but it gives it such a good flavor. And without it, again, it's gonna be pretty bland. So I like to put a little bit of garlic and paprika in my SPG. I will leave a link in the description box to my SPG, and you'll see exactly how little garlic and paprika is in my SPG. I like to apply a good heavy layer because this is a lot of meat. Now, in the first video, I also trimmed the fat cap on the Texas style. And that's mainly, that's just my preference. You can leave it on or you can take it off. But to be fair, if we're gonna leave the fat cap on the Carolina barbecue, I want the fat cap on the Texas style pulled pork. Now on this video, I will be crisping up the fat cap towards the end of the cook. We're gonna flip it down and get it close to that firebox and get that fat extra crispy and get it shredded up for the Texas style pulled pork. And we're gonna get it chopped up for the Carolina barbecue. All right, just like that. So I'm gonna pop this in my fridge. They're gonna sit in there overnight. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, so it's six o'clock in the morning and I've got my Yoda Frontiersman fired up and I am using post oak today. And I've got the temperature set at 275 degrees. So I'm just gonna open the door here and slide this shelf out a little bit. So here's our Texas pork shoulder. And here is our Carolina pork shoulder. And I gotta tell you, leaving them sitting in the fridge with the rubs does something really magical because the aroma that is coming from these pork shoulders is absolutely amazing. It smells really, really good. And look at that rub. Okay, I've never had this before. Finally get the chance to do Carolina barbecue the correct way. I'm just gonna slide my shelf in there. All right, so these pork shoulders are not gonna get wrapped. They're gonna roll 100% of the time in smoke. It's gonna give the pork a really good smoky flavor. Not traditional Carolina barbecue. They cook these over an open pit, usually whole hog, and they chop up the entire thing. But obviously I don't have an open pit. This is the best I can do with an offset smoker. So we're gonna to try to mimic that. Now when these are just about ready, I'm gonna go ahead and move them over to the right side and get this fat cap nice and crispy and get that all chopped up. All right, so I wanna go ahead and shut the lid. So we're gonna check back in about three hours. Stay tuned. All right, so three and a half hours into my cook. Let's take a look at these shoulders. And they are looking really good. Temperature's been running about 275. And they've got a really nice bark already. Both of these are coming along really nice. So I will not be spritzing yet. I'm gonna give this a couple more hours. Let the rub really stick to that surface. So I won't be spritzing yet. You know, the bark isn't 100% set yet. So I'm gonna give it a couple more hours. We'll come back and spritz them both and get an internal temperature. Stay tuned. All right, so we're five hours into the cook now. And let's take a look at our pork shoulders here. Oh yeah, look at that fat split on both of them. And it's probably because I'm running at 275 degrees. But I got a really nice color. I haven't spritzed at all. And you know what, the surface is pretty moist still. So I'm gonna go ahead and spritz just a little bit. I am using apple cider vinegar and water mixed at 50-50. All right. All right, so my meter app is saying that I'm at 167 degrees on the Texas shoulder and 164 on the Carolina. So for some reason, this one is a little bit larger. The Texas one shrunk down a little bit, but that's okay. So that's the current temperature. We're gonna check back in two hours. Stay tuned. All right, so we are at the eight hour mark and the pit is running at 250 right now. So the last couple hours, the pit has been running at 250 just to slow the cook down a little bit. So that's what we look like there. So here's my Carolina 
sauce. And I gotta tell you that the red pepper flakes have reconstituted, so I'm sure that they are releasing some really good flavor into the vinegar. So I'm just gonna give this a good shake, get all the ingredients to stir up a little bit. I'm just gonna pour it a little bit over the top. Oh man, look at that. Just like that. Fantastic. I do have a drain, obviously. So all this vinegar is just gonna go to my drain. I'm not too worried about it. So you can see the red pepper flakes that was in my vinegar sauce. It's now on top of the pork shoulder here. So I am running at 195 right now, the internal temperature on both shoulders. In about 30 minutes, I'm gonna come back and move both shoulders to the right side where it's a little bit hotter and get this fat cap nice and crispy. Again, this was recommended by a viewer to crisp up this fat. So I'll bring you guys back in 30 minutes and show you how we're gonna do that. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we are at the eight and a half hour mark. And now it's time to toast up that fat cap. Again, I wanna thank all the people that commented on the last video that are from Carolina and left me the comments about leaving the fat cap on. <clears throat> and I wanted to do you guys right because if it was reversed and somebody was doing a Texas style brisket the wrong way, you know, we'd be pretty vocal as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the shoulder. Hopefully it doesn't come apart. The internal temperature is 204 degrees and it is extremely tender, okay? So I'm gonna try not to break it apart. And it is trying to break apart. Oh, I lost a little piece, but that's okay. So fat cap is going down. Look at how tender this is. It's already coming apart. So I'm gonna put the fat cap here on the bottom. And I'm also gonna do the same thing to the Texas pork shoulder and get that fat cap nice and crispy as well. All right, looks like the Texas held together. So fat cap is down. And right here, the temperature is 350 degrees, okay? So on the next step is I'm gonna add the rest of this Carolina sauce. That's why we saved it. And we're gonna pour it over the Carolina barbecue. Oh my goodness. It smells absolutely delicious. So we're gonna let that fat cap get nice and crispy probably for only 15 minutes, okay? Then we'll come back and pull them off. Stay tuned. All right, so the fat cap has been down for about 25 minutes now, and I am going to go ahead and pull these shoulders off. Oh man, the smell is insane out here. So I'm just gonna grab this piece that came off of the Carolina barbecue and put in the pan, and this is extremely tender. The smoke ring is crazy. So I'm just gonna grab it, put it in the pan. Oh man, this smells really good. And grab the Texas, which is falling apart as well. Ooh, it's sizzling on the bottom. So that fat cap is gonna be nice and crispy. And look at this, a little piece for me. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right. So I'm gonna take the shoulders inside, cover them with foil, let them rest for about 30 minutes, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, the pork shoulders have been resting for about an hour now, and they are still plenty hot. So I'm gonna start with the Texas pulled pork first. Oh yeah. Pull my meter out. Did a good job keeping track of the temperatures. Then we're just gonna grab our bone here. Man, it's coming right off. Look at that, clean as a whistle. There we go. So I gotta tell you, this is still really, really hot. Okay, so I'm just gonna shred this. Look at this, it just shreds really nice and easy. I mean, that smoke ring looks like it penetrated through the entire shoulder. I'm gonna shred this up and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got our Texas style pulled pork completely pulled and I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the SPG into that just like that and give it a good mix. Now the fat cap, I did just leave it in here and shredded it with the pork. And I gotta tell you, it smells and looks really good. It's moist, I'm not sure if you guys can tell on the camera, but this is really moist. 
Okay, extremely moist. Actually, here's a little piece of cartilage or something that I missed. So I'm glad I caught that. All right, everything else looks good. All right, so I'm just gonna cover this up so it stays nice and warm. And now let's get to our Carolina barbecue. I gotta tell you, this smells absolutely delicious, okay? It's a smell that I've never smelled before. You know, I've done Carolina style pulled pork before, but obviously never like this. I think I did it the correct way this time. So let's go after that bone first. Look at that, nice and clean. Clean as a whistle, okay? And this shoulder was actually pretty big compared to the Texas style. So you can see the, the blade bones are quite different in size, okay? So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. But look at this. Look at that redness from that smoke ring. Nice and juicy as well. So I'm gonna shred this and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got my Carolina barbecue pulled. Now, in order to make it authentic, we're gonna have to chop this up, okay? So I've got my cleaver here from Dow Strong. Look at the size of the sucker. Okay, finally get to use it. So I'm just gonna chop this up. Oh yeah, and doing this is really gonna get that fat cap and that bark all mixed up so I can see why this is pretty popular. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna chop this all up and we'll be right back. All right, I've got the Carolina barbecue all chopped up. And I gotta tell you, this giant meat cleaver works wonders to chop and also to scoop your Carolina barbecue into a pan. So if you don't have one of these, get yourself one. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box so you can grab yourself one of these, okay? All right, so we are not done yet. So I've got it all chopped up here, our Carolina barbecue. We're gonna add some more of the Carolina sauce. Just give it a good mix. Get that red pepper in there, the black pepper and that salt mixed up. And then just pour it over the top. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna add about half of it and mix it in because I don't want this like super soupy, okay? Oh man, this smells good. This smells absolutely delicious. And you know what, the texture's gonna be nice because it's something that we're not used to. All right, you know what, I still need some more. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of this. Just like that. Mix it all up. That fat cap is all mixed in with the Carolina pork here. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands up. We're gonna give this a taste, stay tuned. All right, so I've got a couple of hamburger buns here. I'm just gonna make myself a quick sandwich. We're gonna start with the Carolina barbecue first. Add a good amount, just like that. Maybe a little bit more, we got room in here. Oh yeah. All right, next up, we're gonna make ourselves a Texas pulled pork sandwich. Got those barky pieces in there as well. A little bit more, just like that. All right, so I am gonna prepare sandwiches like this for my neighbors to taste as well. And as an option, I'm gonna give them the option if they want barbecue sauce on their Texas, just to be fair, because the Carolina does have sauce, um, I will give them the option if they want some, I'll have them open up their sandwich and pour a little bit of that sauce on this. So let's give these a try. All right, let's dig into these sandwiches and see how we did. I'm gonna try the Carolina barbecue first. Man, this is gonna be good. It smells good, so here we go. Mm. Man, that thing is packed with flavor. You know, the vinegar sauce isn't as pronounced and it's got really good flavor. And you would think that with the red pepper flakes, it would be spicy and it is not. So now you can also have that with some coleslaw, but we're gonna try to taste the pork, okay? So that Carolina barbecue, fantastic. 
Let's give this Texas style pulled pork a try. Cheers. All right, that Texas style pulled pork is fantastic as well. Now, the Carolina barbecue does have a lot more flavor in it, okay? And again, I'm really liking that vinegar. On the Texas style, it's good. It tastes like smoked pork. It's really tasty, but it's also a little bit drier. It's not dry, it's a little bit drier. And I like the texture of the Carolina barbecue where it's chopped up. It's a lot easier to chew and just packed with so much flavor. So on my last video, I said that I went with Carolina. I'm gonna stick with Carolina barbecue, okay? That is fantastic, just so full of flavor. That fat cap all chopped up, the bark is all chopped up in there. Just a perfect tasting sandwich. I'm gonna prepare some sandwiches for my neighbors and see what they think. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we are at house number one. I've got Bob and Jeff here, and these are non-Texans. Okay, so Jeff, where are you from originally? Hey, I'm from the great state of North Carolina. North Carolina, and then Bob, you're from? Born in D.C., but raised in Germany. There you go, so non-Texans. So I've got a sandwich, two sandwiches in each box. So if you guys wanna try this one first, actually, and I do have the boxes labeled. This is box number X. So just try it, man. So yeah, meat take, meat. take a bite. So we're just gonna take a, a yeah. small bite. Take a good bite. All right, yeah. grab a bite of that one. All right, so what do you guys think? First one or second one? Second, second one. Second one? Second. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really? It was, it was moister, it had more flavor. Oh wow. Her, now let me tell you, the first one was good. Mm -hmm. I, I eat the whole thing and I will eat it. But the second one was better. Okay. Yeah, I, I think, I don't know if it was the sauce or whatever, but there was something totally different. Okay. About that second. Yeah. So I, I definitely go All right, so. Spicy. Yeah. 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 Really, okay. So the, the one you guys picked, number two, is the Carolina, Carolina. barbecue. Oh, is that right? Yes. Oh, yeah. So it's chopped up, so the texture's different. Yeah. Easier to chew. Yeah. Wow, okay. Hey, number two. Hey, number hey, two, man. No. I was in that hey. car. <laughs> car. I didn't know. Nice. All right, guys. Well, Bob and Jeff, thanks for participating. Enjoy the rest of your sandwiches. Hey, thank, thank you, you man. Joe. Thank you, Smoking Joe. Okay, so we're here at Justin's house. And Justin, you're from originally from Texas? El Paso, Puerto Rico. All right, so you got two boxes in front of you. Reach for whatever sandwich you want first. Take one bite, and remember that flavor. Then put it down and take the bite off of the other one. <clears throat> That's box number Y. <laughs> There's something in that one, man. Uh huh. That's good. <laughs> so if you had to pick right off of the right off your mind right now, which one do you like better? Why? Why? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think that, I do. <laughs> all right. Like, like the, so that's the Carolina style pulled pork. Oh, the Carolina style pulled pork. Yes. Yes. So it's a vinegar-based sauce. I get it. It's got a hint of it, huh? Yeah. It's like it's, <laughs> it just like wakes it up or something, man. Yeah. So put a little bit of this. Put a little bit of this barbecue sauce on that one because that on that one over there because now that you know that one's from texas i mean you already picked carolina so we're going to yeah. go with that but pour some of that on over the top of it a little bit or no you're still leaning towards no, carolina it does a lot it does huh yeah it wakes it up yeah i guess <laughs> i'm not like you know i'm not too Mm -hmm. I'm not too versed in this right. type of barbecue, but I guess I like sauce a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so you like you like the Carolina one? I like that Carolina because I don't think I've ever had anything like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, that like that with the, I guess the bitterness of that vinegar mm -hmm. or something. It's like, oh man, yeah. that's cool. It's, it's got uh, red red pepper flakes, crushed red yeah, pepper. Yeah, and there's a little spice to it. Yeah. Yeah, so. I think I would still go for that one. All right. Yeah, I like that like. All right, so that's man. three for Carolina, just so you know. Really? Three for Carolina, cool, zero for Texas, so. Appreciate your help with that, Justin. For sure, dude. All right, buddy. These, right? Yes, sir. You can eat them. Cool, <laughs> Thanks, man. Great. All right, so neighbor number three, we're with Reuben. He's a Bears fan. Yes. Don't hate him for that. So Go just grab, grab one of those sandwiches there, Reuben. Okay. That one. So you're originally from Texas? No, originally from Chicago. Oh, from Chicago. So you're non-Texan. Non All right, so that's good. Originally Chicago, now Texas. All right, all right. 
So remember that flavor profile, grab one of these. This is box number Y. <laughs> okay. Really? Okay. All right. So that is the Carolina style. So, so do me a favor. Grab that sandwich from Michelle again, and that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce on that one, and see if it changes your mind. I mean, obviously Carolina wins right there. Yeah. So Carolina already has sauce in it. Okay. The Texas one doesn't. Okay. So if we were to add sauce, let's see if it changes your mind. But you've already picked Carolina. Really? All right. So zero for Texas, four for Carolina so far. Wow. Yeah. So now the last time you picked Texas. Yeah, Texas was really good. Yeah. All right. Ruben, thanks again. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So we're at Claudia and Daisy's home and uh, they got box number Y. They don't know what it is. So go ahead and pick it up and give it a shot. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I can taste like a little bit more vinegar on mm -hmm. this one. Okay. It tastes really good. Like the meat is so tender. Is it spicy? It has a little tang to it. A little tang? Like that. The bark? Yeah. <laughs> this one's really good. That one? Mm. Or the other one? Mm. I love this one. Me too. I like this really? one. Really? Okay. So that is the Texas one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Texas. Definitely, I love this one. Really? I guess that's just what we were raised or exposed yeah, yeah, yeah. to. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, definitely. That's not See? Nice one. All right. I love it. Really, really yummy. Very moist. That one's really good too. Yes. Yeah. Is that is that something that you've had before? No. No? Not me. Okay. Have you? You, Daisy? No. No? We've always okay. had this. That style? And but okay. I love the other one too. But this one? Mm -hmm. So just so you know, Texas is behind right now. Okay, so oh my God, you see everybody you? so far has picked Carolina. Everybody. Oh wow! So yeah. All right. Well, we're rooting for Texas. All right. Thank, Thank you, ladies. So Thank you, neighbor. All right. So we're with another neighbor. Stephen is gonna try. It looks like box number X first. Yeah. So just take one bite. Put the sandwich back and tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. Texture wise. Something in it? Yeah. So which one do you like better? I did like X. X? All right. So that is... the right choice. Yeah, that's it. Well, I mean, it's... I like the Carolina, but you picked Texas. Really? Yeah. So... Makes Yeah, so it's... We're raised here in Texas, so it makes sense why I would pick that one. Yeah. This one's got a little bit more of a, like, pickle-ish kind of feel to it. Like, you know, that kind of thing. But it wasn't over... It wasn't overpowered. It was just more the way you can taste it. Right. It looks different. Yeah. Uh, this one's got a little bit of redness to it, mm -hmm. which I like the look, but this one tastes it much better. Okay. So, Team Texas. Yes. All right. Thanks, Stephen. All right. My pleasure. All right. So, I'm back at home, and I just wanted to give you a brief recap. I got to tell you, the Carolina one really surprised me, and the cooking style, I think, made the difference. Leaving the fat cap on, getting it nice and toasty towards the end of the cook, all of that played a factor in how good it tastes. And for me, it was the Carolina. So Carolina does win this comparison, five to three. And I gotta tell you, the Carolina one was really good. The Texas pulled pork was absolutely delicious. It's something that we're used to, but that Carolina barbecue is something very special, packed with flavor. The crushed red pepper, I think, made the difference. Nothing but salt, pepper, and crushed red pepper. 
and then the vinegar based sauce towards the end. So to all of my subscribers from Carolina, and if you're watching this video and you're new to my channel, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I did Carolina barbecue justice this time. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.